Hello students and welcome to our channel. If you like the explanation, do not forget to like and share the video and leave a comment. Subscribe to our channel. To get notified on the latest uploads, do not forget to press the bell icon. For more study materials, video courses and tests, do not forget to download the Keshes Classes app and sign up. Link is given in the description box. This video may discuss the nature of roots of a quadratic equation. Now, we know that x equal to minus b plus minus root over b square minus 4ac by 2a according to the quadratic formula. And b square minus 4ac is called d. So, we have d lik diya hai. Capital D which is the discriminant. We have covered quadratic equations in the first video. If you have not seen that video, then do watch it before going through this video. The link is given in the description box. Now, d equal to b square minus 4ac that is the discriminant. And is d ke upar sab kuch depend karta hai. What will be the nature of the roots? Ye is d ke upar depend karta hai. Kaise ye hum log dekhenge? Now, Depending on the value of d, whether d is less than 0, equal to 0 or greater than 0, we can have different types of roots. If d is less than 0, matlab ki d ka value negative hai. Square root of a negative number is not real. Square root of a negative number, agar d ke jaga pe koi negative number ho, negative number ka koi real square root nahi hota. To is liye, the roots will not be real in that case. And hum usko imaginary roots bol sakte hai, ya fir agar hum complex numbers ke domain mein jaga ke usko nikalna chahe, to fir we will get complex roots and they will actually be complex conjugates of each other. If d is equal to 0, then root over 0 will be 0. So this part gets eliminated. We have minus b plus minus 0 divided by 2a. So minus b plus 0 by 2a and minus b minus 0 by 2a. Both of them come out to be minus b by 2a. So both the roots are real and equal. If d is greater than 0, that means d ka value agar positive hai. Now, here, we have two more subdivisions. If d is greater than 0, that means d is positive. If d is a perfect square, then square root of d will be a rational number. Jaisi ke d ke pe 9 hai, then root over 9 would be 3. So, minus b plus minus 3 divided by 2a, then we would get by calculating rational roots. So, if d is a perfect square, we would get real and distinct that is obviously unequal and rational roots. If d is not a perfect square, we would get real and distinct roots, but the roots would be irrational because root over d does not have a rational output. Root over d ka rational output nahi hoga. Isliye, humko irrational roots milenge. And they would again be irrational conjugates of each other. 